Hi everyone and welcome to Vlogmas! My name is Shauna and this is my very first year recording Vlogmas episodes and I'm so excited about it. Um, this is going to be a little snippet every day, I'm going to try every day, uh, leading up to Christmas. So you're going to see um, just everyday happenings in our home, um, things that our family is doing together, Christmas movies we're watching, our special family traditions, um, quite a bit of knitting and yarn and crafty goodness, um, and I'm excited that I'm able to share that with you. So I hope you enjoy um, each and every episode, and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and that you enjoy seeing our family get ready for that. So a couple of goals that I have for the month of December is to knit a pair of Christmas socks. Um, I think I would like them to be scrappy, but I'm not positive. Um, I do have quite a bit of Christmas themed yarn that I'd like to show you, uh, different choices that I'm, or different choices that I have um, for my Christmas socks, and I also have some Christmassy yarn scraps that will be fun. Um, I do have an advent calendar that I received from Sweet Sparrow Yarns. Uh, the lovely Julie and I swapped our advent calendars with each other, so I have one of hers to open each day. So I'm going to share that with you, and I'm also going to be sharing each day the yarn that I dyed, Adelaide Cottage Yarns, um, for my advent calendars that I sent out to people. So you'll get to see a little um, yarn surprise times two every single episode, so that's exciting. Um, so I wanted to show you my little basket of Christmas yarns. Um, quite a few choices. I love to collect um, holiday yarn. I have some nitpicks in Halloween colors, Christmas colors, um, Thanksgiving, Easter, um, just old colorways. And I haven't knit them yet, um, but I did find my Christmas I organized all my stash, and I found my Christmas Knit Picks Felici. This is the Jingle colorway. I've kind of been hoarding all of this special yarn, but it's time its time to knit with it and enjoy it and make some room on my, on my shelves. So this is what it looks like. This is one of my choices for Christmas socks. I have two balls of it, self-striping. I also have this, which is hard to find. Um, it's the Red Heart Heart and Soul Christmas colorway. Um, what is the name of it? It's just called Christmas, color 3973. You might be able to find this on eBay if you look for it. It's not sold in stores anymore though. I have two balls of that. Um, I have, oh I love this, Christina of the Cozy Knitter um, Gingerbread House with a 20 gram mini for cuffs, heels, and toes. I have Heritage Prints by Cascade Yarns. I have a perfect Regia uh, Arnie and Carlos design line in color 09136, and this is all Christmas colors as well. And lastly, I have our Adelaide Cottage Yarn in Jingle Bell Rock colorway. And then one of the 20 gram minis in Old Red Barn, which I thought would be nice for cuffs, heels, and toes. Or a lovely knitting friend sent me these gorgeous Christmas colored minis. Um, little yarn balls of these wonderful Christmas colors that I could probably get part of a sock done with these scraps. You know, I have two socks with like part of it done. I don't think I could knit two socks with all of these. But maybe... Excuse me. Yes, baby. Um, the movie restarted, so I want to watch it again. Okay, I'll start it for you. Do you want to say hi to everybody? No. No? Not yet? It's um, a black... It's black with letters. Black with letters. Okay. 
So I am going to keep all of these um, interruptions from my children because this is real. This is our life. I love it. Um, I am always home with my kids. I love every second of it. I'm a homebody. Um, we love being here. It's our sanctuary. And I'm just so excited to be able to share it with you this year. So I hope you enjoy. You like my necklace? He's trying on my jewelry from my jewelry box. Okay, so that's what I'm debating. You're going to find out soon which one I choose because I will show you my progress as I go. And I'm going to use this... Um, little hold on one second sweetheart i'm almost done this little christmas tree polymer clay progress keeper that i made for my rhinebeck roomies that i went with and i also made one for myself to use with little ornaments so yeah i'm gonna let you go and i'll be back soon this is our family advent calendar which the boys are always so excited to open the doors each morning to find a little surprise so Jason and I are going to go get some surprises today to start filling those up. And it plays music when you open the doors. And Evan and Aiden just adore it. Right, Evan, are you excited to open the advent calendars every day? Yeah. Yeah? See, it opens. Stop. I know. We have to turn it on so the music plays. I thought this would be a really fun tote bag to have for my Advent um, yarn. So, like I said, I have the Advent calendar from Sweet Sparrow Yarns, and I'm going to open up day one in just a minute. And then I also have the Adelaide Cottage um, yarn in here that I will be showing you. Number one from Sweet Sparrow Yarns. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. The grays. It's a tonal beautiful gray with really light pink and cream. Oh, I love it. And it came with some peppermint tea. And what's this colorway name? It's called Nine Ladies Dancing. What, honey? And number one for the Adelaide Cottage Yarns um, Advent Calendar. I've forgotten what I put in each bag. <laughs> this is called Winter Spice on Marion MCN. And Winter Spice Tea. I'm so excited about this David's then, 24 Days of Tea. Then zip it up. Then put it in the envelope. Yeah. Whoa! Cool, huh? Whoa. Don't show me what's inside. It's a surprise. They're all different teas. Do you like I tea, wanna, Evan? No. No. I want to count them. One. Where is the two? You have marker all over your hands. One. Or is that ink from stamping today? Ink. Ink. And crayons. One. There's two.
is the Let It Snow tea from David's Tea. I taste a lot of cinnamon and apple and some clove. And it's definitely naturally or already sweetened. I didn't add anything to it. I love this mug. And I love that there's a lid. The mugs that are my favorite have lids on them to keep my drink warm. So later on, I'm going to. I'm tired. I'm going to um, knit with the minis that I opened today from the advent calendars and make something scrappy with them. So I will definitely record that for you. Thank you. 